Hello, members one and all of the Salivation Nation. There has been quite an interesting development here. As most of you remember, I post recently posted a video about the ongoing saga with the um, NTR metals and elemental. And there was some pleading of guilty of $3.6 billion worth of money laundering. A lot of that money went to drug dealers and the cartels in uh, South America. Well, and apparently now there's some more trouble looming. And it may or may not be in relation to this investigation. But notably, this will probably widen to a point. Because I think people feel like in some cases, especially when you're in that area, and you're able to get away with it for so long, you almost feel impervious to uh, prosecution. And uh, this is the case here where we've got a very brutal story about killing for what we think is gold here. Uh, in this article from The Sun, a tribal massacre, 10 members of the Lost Amazon tribe are killed, chopped up, and thrown in the river by gold miners hell-bent on seizing their land as the charge. The horror attack is alleged to have taken place in the Javari Valley, the second largest indigenous reserve in Brazil. So the cops in Brazil are investigating claims that 10 members of a remote Amazonian tribe were hacked to death by ruthless gold miners out to seize their land. And a, a complaint has been filed with the prosecutors in South America after the alleged killers went into a bar and bragged about what they have done. And even the New York Times has picked up on this story as well, although they, uh, they kind of downplay the gold element of it, which I think is quite interesting that Western media um, especially tends to do that. And... Uh, but it does talk about how they had some bad luck running into gold miners. And now the spin is here. The federal prosecutors in Brazil have opened up an investigation into a reported massacre of about 10 members of the tribe. The latest evidence that threats to endangered indigenous groups are on the rise in the, in the country. The Brazilian Agency on Indigenous Affairs, FUNAI, said that it had lodged a complaint with the prosecutor's office in the state of Amazonas after gold miners went to a bar near the border with Colombia. They bragged about the killings. They brandished a hand-carved paddle that they said had came from the tribe, come from the tribe. It was crude bar talk, uh, said Leah Silvia Berger Sotomayor, Funai's coordinator for the uncontacted and recently contacted tribes. Uh, they even have bragged about cutting up the bodies and throwing them in the river. The miners, she said, claimed that they had to kill them or be killed. So uh, they, she said that the killings were reported to have taken place last month. The Indigenous Affairs Bureau con conducted some initial interviews with the town and then took the case of the police. There's a lot of evidence, but when it needs to be proven. So, uh, But that's the thing. It's the, it's the question about were these gold miners sending a message to the, to the indigenous tribes or were they really under threat? You know, for them to brag about it as such makes me think that perhaps that they were, felt like they were impervious to prosecution, as we've seen illegal gold mining for quite some time in, the, uh, in several different nations in, in South America. So it kind of doesn't surprise me uh, if that's the case. And we shall see how the investigation uh pans out, but do these people have some connections to the uh, drug dealers and the cartels in the area that have been dealing with uh, places like NTR Metals and Elemental that come through the port of Miami? be quite interesting to see, but what's fascinating about these tribes is, you know, we're seeing some of, some of the, uh, a very, on a very small scale of what some people accuse the Spaniards of doing quite some time ago, stealing the gold from the indigenous peoples. And in this case, obviously, you know, the, you know, not that that's an excuse, but certainly with a lot of indigenous peoples, there's also threat from their, from other tribes as well. So these groups are protected in those areas, but it makes you wonder if there is, um, if there's other rival tribes nearby in those zones. One particular group, which I think is fascinating, uh, some of you may or may not be aware of the Centenese, 
<clears throat> North Sentinel Island, which is um, in the territory off the coast of India, far off the coast, closer towards um, Malaysia in that area. And uh, but uh, those people have their own island and have, are uncontacted as well. And anybody who tries to step foot on the island is met with arrows and spears. And to this day, they thrive on an island about the size of Manhattan. And uh, but little, no one really knows how they trade. Certainly, it's not gold or silver by any means. Um, but uh, nonetheless, that island itself could have a plethora of different minerals and uh, possibly gold and silver. It could be a gold mine there. You never know. Regardless, it's um, quite fascinating. And in this case, in this day and age, that there are uncontacted tribes around the world. Uh, but it's sad to hear about the deaths of these 10 folks from, this, uh, from these indigenous peoples and what will occur and how will the investigation turn out. Was it a, really a threat to the, to the land for them to give up for mining, illegal mining in those areas? It's anyone's guess, really, but quite fascinating tale. Post your thoughts below what you think about this latest news and uh, how gold can um, can cause people to kill. Interesting indeed. I'd like to extend the multitude of gratitude y'all for watching. I encourage you to please rate, comment, and subscribe.